Hey everybody, this is Jeffrey Powers and you are on the Geekazine screencast. Um, really quick tips on Windows 7. And we're going to talk about affinity and we're going to talk about processes and how you can change the compatibility mode. Now I'm running Windows 7 uh, 64-bit Pro version and I really like it. I've got a multi-core machine. It's actually a Phenom 2, so there's four cores here working away. So my experience on Windows 7 64-bit has been pretty good. Uh, there are some programs that have had some problems, and I've had to make some changes and fix some issues. I'm going to show you a little bit about the difference between uh, Windows 7 and Windows 7 64-bit and how you can counter any problems uh, from that incompatibility if there is any on there. Let's start by going over to the task manager and taking a look at the processes in the task manager. For instance, I have, uh, I have programs like Camtasia running. Of course, this is how I'm, I'm doing the screencast. Uh, we've got iTunes Helper here. We've got a program that I like called Launchy. Uh, my backup with Mosey uh, Outlook's running right now. So all of these programs are running. Some of them are not running, which they should be en ended by now, but for some reason they're not. And But you notice that some of these processes actually have a star 32 at the end. This means that this process runs in 32-bit, whereas the other processes run in 64-bit. Now, some of these processes can have some problems. Sometimes it's because of the fact that there's multiple cores. Sometimes it's the fact that they just, uh, they're just having problems running in the, in the mode that they're, they run in. So basically what we can do is we can go to one of these processes, right-click on it, and say, hey, I want to change the affinity. This one thinks they never knew what a dual core processor meant, and it's, it, it's tripping over the fact that it can switch back and forth. So we want to change the affinity. Uh, so we go in there, and we'll see I have four processors, being a quad-core machine. I can take out pretty much one, two, three processors. So it can run, think it's, right now it's thinking that process can think, that process can think that it's a dual-core machine, or a triple-core, or even the quad-triple-core, or a single-core for that matter. So we can set all the affinity uh, to one processor all the way up to two pro uh, four processors. Now you got to remember if you're setting one thing up to one processor, uh, you got to you got to keep tabs on that because if you do this for a lot of these uh, processes, then you you might overload one. Oops, you might overload one process uh, as to uh, as to the other ones because they're all working on the same processor. So you can also set a priority just like with Windows XP. You can set it to above normal or high. Not really recommended because it can always freeze a process and it might not work as uh, faster than, than you expect. So, But uh, those are a couple things you can do uh, to any 32-bit processor or 64-bit process that's causing problems. Now let's say you open up a program and you run into some big issues there. It just won't open properly. Well, you can change the compatibility. Well, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take the HP Data Vault, which runs really well in Windows 7 64-bit, but we're just using this as an example. Um, let's say that I open it up and it causes some problems, so I just want to change it back so it'll think that it's a Windows XP machine or a Windows 2000 machine, so on and so forth. I right-click on the icon and I go down to Properties, and I go over here, as my screen background just changed, go over to Compatibility Mode. And I can check this box, and now I can say I want to run this in different types of compatibility mode, including Windows Vista, including Windows Server, Windows XP, Windows 2000, all the way to Windows 95. So I have multiple choices, especially when you get really old programs thinking, like I said, they're thinking one processor. They're, they, they don't know the instruction sets that these new uh, these newer machines have. So changing the compatibility back for Windows 95 can always help out there. Uh, you also have other options. You can change in 256 color. You can run in 640 by 480, disable some of the items there, and you can even run a program as an administrator if that seems to choke or balk from there. You apply that, uh, whatever you check, and then you rerun the program and go from there. Now, I have run one program that uh, that was having problems. I changed it to compatibility mode in XP Service Pack 3. It worked fine. 
But then the program corrupted, and I had to actually reinstall the program. Now, a small setback. Back, it it still remembered all my settings, but uh, that was one interesting thing about the compatibility mode was the fact that it it caused some problems in the end. And then when I reinstalled everything, it went back to normal, and I could just run it in 64-bit mode. So once again, to, to wrap all this stuff up, you can go into the task manager and look at the processes, see which ones have 32-bit processes to them. Um, you can change and you can set the affinity or priority of the process. And, of course, if you go into the program, you can go into the properties and change the compatibility to something like anywhere from Windows Vista to Windows 95. So, anyway, that that comes to the end of our Windows 7 quick tip. My name is Jeffrey Powers, www.geekazine.com. We have the weekly podcast every Wednesday. We have the five tech things you should know about, the video, uh, every uh, Friday. And then, of course, the day in technology every single day of the week. It's December 17th, so today we're talking about The Simpsons. So it first aired on the Fox TV network 20 years ago. That's it for that. Uh, thank you very much for watching. My name is Jeffrey Powers. Until next time, take care.